In the quaint town of Bridgeport, Alabama, in 1897, a mysterious figure arrived, captivating the attention of the locals. His name was George W. Steele, a towering man standing at an astonishing 7 feet 6 inches, making him one of the largest men ever seen in those parts. He was a peculiar character, and his presence brought a mix of awe and curiosity among the villagers. George W. Steele's arrival in Bridgeport was a bit peculiar as well. He arrived by train, clad in a brown suit, a black hat, and shiny patent leather shoes. However, it soon became evident that he was inebriated, stumbling clumsily as he made his way through the train depot. Unfortunately, his intoxicated state led to a grave accident, as he accidentally walked onto the train tracks and was hit by a passing train. Miraculously, George survived the collision, suffering only a few scrapes and bruises. Brushing off the mishap, he continued his journey through Bridgeport. However, his misfortunes didn't end there. A short while later, while wandering around town, he somehow found himself in a warehouse and stumbled down a 20-foot elevator shaft, landing harshly on the concrete floor below. Despite this second tragic incident, George managed to walk away with only a few more scrapes, astonishing the locals with his seemingly unbreakable resilience. Throughout the night, Steele attempted to alleviate his pain and misery through self-medication, relying on alcohol and perhaps other substances to numb his physical and emotional anguish. The following morning, a concerned bellboy entered his room only to discover Steele lying near death. A physician was hastily summoned, but it was already too late. As Steele's life slipped away, the doctor discovered clues about his origins. The giant man hailed from Canada, and medicine bottles found in his pockets indicated he had recently been in Detroit, just across the river from Windsor. Despite their efforts to identify him, no one in Bridgeport knew who George W. Steele really was. Without money or any family or acquaintances to claim his body, he was placed on display at the local undertaker's shop in hopes that someone might recognize him. However, days passed, and no one came forward. Ultimately, George W. Steele was given a simple burial in a potter's field, situated on the outskirts of the town. It was a lonely resting place for a man who had intrigued so many during his brief time in Bridgeport. Yet, the story did not end there. Soon after his burial, grave robbers desecrated George's final resting place, stealing his remains. Rumors began to circulate that the giant's body had been taken to a medical school in Chattanooga, but no one could be certain. George W. Steele, the enigmatic giant from Canada, came to Bridgeport, Alabama, leaving an indelible mark on the town's memory. His larger-than-life presence, coupled with a series of unfortunate events, transformed him into a legend, forever leaving the townsfolk to wonder about the fate of his colossal remains and the mysteries they might hold. Please like the video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily ghost stories. You can find our Southern Ghost Stories books over at Amazon as well as Barnes & Noble.